Thank you, everyone. Um, okay, so I think it's kind of funny that I teach English because both of my parents speak funny English. Um, my mom is a Brooklyn Jew from Bensonhurst. My dad is a Greek immigrant. Neither of them can really say the R in my name. So my whole life I've been Marla to my friends, but Mala to my parents. And so my mom's funny English comes from her very idiosyncratic Brooklynese. And um, it's pretty intense. Everything has to be inflected with some sort of fuck appearance in it somewhere. It's always, what the fuck is this? Who the fuck is that? Fuck me, fuck you. And uh, one of her favorite phrases is, get out of here. And she says it so much in so many different ways that my son, my three-year-old son says it now as well, which is adorable until we get on the subway and he turns to a total stranger and says, get out of here. Um, so always, always fun. Uh, my dad, on the other hand, uh, immigrated here when he was 20 years old in 1972 from Greece. He uh, taught himself how to read, write, and speak English in six months. And his funny English comes from the fact that he was very desperate to be American, and especially sound American. And he did this through American television, American movies, and one particular newspaper, the Wall Street Journal. When my dad came here, he got a job as a dishwasher in the financial district. And so every day he'd go to work and see all these beautiful men in beautiful suits walking around with the Wall Street Journal under their arm. And he made this mental correlation. Okay, to be successful, I must carry the Wall Street Journal under my arm. And so every day he'd put on his dishwasher clothes and he'd go to work and with the little money he had, he would buy a Wall Street Journal and tuck it under his arm. One day he even got the courage to speak to a man on the train who was also reading the same paper. He walked up to me and he said three words. He said, buy, sell, crazy. Now, six months later, there was a terrible stock market crash, and I don't want to blame it on my dad. Anyway, when he realized uh, that he should not be giving stock tips, he got a job as a cook in a diner in Queens that was frequented by my mom. And he walked up to her after they started talking, and he says, I think you go outside. Now, my mom thinks she's being thrown out of the restaurant, so she replies with, what the fuck is this? After a little bit more deliberation, he says, I think I take you out. And they do go out. Six months later, he says to her, I think we get married. And they do get married. When my mom tells my dad that she's pregnant, he is so excited and so desperate to sound American. He says, that's right, baby. I knocked you down. Funny English, funny English. I tell my parents stories in my class all the time. Uh, they're great examples for my students. Whenever I want to talk about repetition and tone, I speak about my mom's obsession with get out of here. There's so many ways you could say it. You could be angry, get out of here. You can be surprised, get out of here. You can be coquettishly playful, get out of here. When you want to, when I tell my kids to not use idioms in their essays, I tell them of my father's very bumbling experience with American phrases. My parents are always really excited when I tell them that I've shared a story of their funny English with my class. It always makes them really excited. I say, hey, mom, I told the story. And she says, get out of here. And I say, hey, dad, I told the story. And he says, all right, give me a bump fist. <laughs>